Oh man, I just crash landed on this planet and... Oh my gosh! What in the world is this? This isn't a planet, this is a... A new world! A simulation! And I... Am an ancient alien! Landed on this planet, a little green man! Oh ho 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 Anyways, what is going? Oh gosh! Looks like we have a jug bug over here already. What is going on guys? Tis Wava here and welcome back to some more Ark Survival Evolved. Today we're playing in Valgaro. And as you can see, I'm a little green man. I'm an ancient alien because I just escaped from Area 51 and my escape pod kind of crashed down to this weird planet slash Ark slash thing. <laughs> Anyways, ah oh man, this was a long time coming, but we have a bunch of fun new mods to kind of experiment around with in this brand new arc series, so I hope you guys are excited, because I certainly am. Oh my gosh, there's a new critter over there. Speaking of new critters and new arcs, or new mods in arc. <laughs> Looks like we have a new critter over there. Now we're not using Extinction Core anymore, because that mod is completely outdated. Same with Onychogenesis. Now we're working with Primal Fear and all of its extensions alongside the Pugnacia mod as, oh gosh, I just got a level up, boom! <laughs> oh gosh, there's something over there. Now, I haven't done... Oh, gosh. What in the world is... Oh, it's a wisp? Level 5? What? 532? <laughs> no way. Okay, I'm just going to ignore that thing. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. I, level 532, that is kind of, uh... Kind of spooking me out a little bit. Looks like we've got some sort of critter over here. I can't tell if it's a Brano or... Yeah, I think it's a Brano just by the looks of it. But uh, we just saw, like, a big, vibrant green critter over here. And I kind of want to see what it is kind of reminding me of Anunnaki Genesis and like the poison BA critters I wonder if they're in this mod oh my gosh yeah because my, my my character is so short now that it makes the dinosaurs seem that much bigger <laughs> I know I do have a level up but I kind of want to go check on this what looks like a Tyrannon that's kind of vibrant looking over there oh I'm cold as well I need to get used to my my character being literally green he's like lime green all vibrant and stuff oh is that a is that a tree trunk right there, or is that a beaver dam? I think it's a tree trunk. Just kind of in the ground right there, yeah. Alright, well, we're going to need to get started here pretty soon. It's probably going to get dark time, and I'm going to be completely <laughs> unprepared for anything at night. But I kind of want to see, what is this thing? Oh, it's just a tarant- Level 200! Or 728?! What?! Okay, so I've been- I've been dealing with pretty normal level critters throughout all of my arc series. Oh my gosh, was it? Oh, it's something in the background. Okay, whatever. But now we're dealing with critters that are like level 500, level 700, casually. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, what was the level cap in regular arc? Like, I don't know, 150 for the baseline or something like that? 150-ish? And then, of course, like, the max out after that is like 200-something or something, right? I don't remember. Man, we only got one wood from that? Or nine? I, I guess we got nine wood. What in the world? Oh, look at this! We got uh, a bunch of different... Oh gosh, what in the world is that noise? Something trying to- <gasps> A dead- What in the world? Why is there a manta ray over here? Well, don't mind if I do. I'm going to harvest all of its dead fish flesh. I'm going to be cooking that up. Going to get me some good money. <laughs> good money? <laughs> good meat out of that thing. Jeez, you can tell I've been playing too many of these park simulation games. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just going to keep it like that. Maybe we could harvest it with- uh... Oh, yeah, speaking of harvesting. Definitely do want to get some of the stone over here so we can get some good tools. And uh, definitely want to unlock something with those engrams that we probably have piling up over here with a thousand level ups. Let's see. Yep, two level ups already. Now, there are a bunch of mods. So if you guys are curious, like, what mods I have installed, just check the video description. That should show you everything that is currently installed. Of course, I will probably add more mods here in the future. Uh, first thing is probably going to be health. That's going to be a great one. And melee damage is also going to be a great one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so many engrams here now. Like, oh my. What in the world's all this? Or Origin Carno Summon? Origin Rex Summon? What in the world? Oh my gosh, well at least we're not going to be piling up Engrams non-stop later on in the series, hopefully. Hopefully we're gonna actually start using all the Engrams we're going to be piling up later on. Dino Landing Pistol? Oh my gosh, this is crazy, you guys. And of course I do still have some of the OG mods like Structures Plus, uh, the crap Upgrade Station, the some other stuff as well. You guys can just check the video description and find out. But I do need to unlock some tool. Oh gosh, it's got yet another level up. Jeez. Might as well get, uh, we already have the snow pick. We already have the torch. Pooping and devolved snowman. Sorry for wrecking your base with a dragon. Do you forgive me? I am sorry, slip. Hope this helps. Okay. 
That's an easter egg for a different YouTuber, jeez. Might as well get the stone hatchet, can't fire. How many do we have? We have 10 engrams left. Spear's pretty good. Primal spear, ooh, is that a... Yeah, it looks like it has a torbidity. An easily made melee uh, weapon that can be used or thrown. Has a chance to break when used, tipped with narcotic. Okay, so that's going to be great. Uh, probably want to get some armor as well, so might as well get, like, you know, some cloth stuff here and there. And, uh, is there anything else I could afford? Probably just... I'll, I'll get the spear. I'll get the regular spear for right now. We have one engram point left over, though. And we'll worry about that a little bit later, but let's see what we can craft out of all. Oh yeah, we have this uh, level up here, and I think we're going to get more Engram points after this, right? So, what are we going to do now? Let me carry weight. That's probably going to be fine for right now. I do have a mod that adds, like, backpacks and stuff like that, so if I want to add, like, a backpack... Yeah, an A-plus basic backpack, when attached to a chest armor, provides uh, Explorer buff. I think... I think the way the backpack stuff works is that, like, you can carry more stuff, but of course you get slower or something like that, and... Your hunger and food go down quicker, something like that, I believe. Not 100,000% sure. <laughs> we'll find out a little bit later, but definitely want to make something. Oh, what in the world? No durability stone hat. What? Are these hacks? Are these hacked enabled? Hold on. Uh, if it has no durability, does that mean I could use it forever? Uh, I believe so. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even notice these tools already in my inventory. Do these, like, level up and stuff? The more I use them or something like that. Sharp flint, hatchet, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it doesn't even say. It's uh, ram shackle. Weapon damage, 219%. Compared to the pick at 221. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, what is this thing, though? Pugnacia dino guy. Oh, okay, so I, they could guide me through all the dinos in the Pugnacia mod we have installed. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, <laughs> you can see my character just kind of looking there. Uh, oh, my gosh. What is all this? Man, there's so many things. Yeah, get this out of here. I don't even... I don't look at that later. Jeez. Let's cut down trees with these free hatchets and pick that I got. Oh, uh, man. This is going to be quite the series. I could already feel it, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited, because I definitely am. I kind of want to go back to where I spawned. This guy's just kind of... Is he just chilling out on the beach with half of his body in the water? <laughs> and the other half just kind of laying on the beach. <laughs> what is he doing? Oh, yeah. There's that uh, dead manta ray over here, wasn't it? Yeah, let me go harvest that thing. Get a little bit of... Yeah, let's get meat out of it. So let's use the pickaxe. I don't think we go... Oh, is it still here? Yeah, still here. Okay, man. I'm going to get, oh, 11 more raw fish meat right there. Noish, noish, not bad. All right. Well, we, uh, yeah, some other, like, OG mods we have installed still are the awesome spyglass mod that replaced the super spyglass mod. So that's going to be really good here in the future. And I, I assume there's going to be so many, like, accessories and, like, structures and everything that I'm going to be, like, finding out through the, throughout the entirety of the series. Because I, I, I think I have, like, what, 16 mods or something like that installed right now? Probably going to be adding more here in the future. But, uh, what in the world is that? Oh, it's another jug bug over there. A gigantic poop! Is that massive? That was dropped by a Fiomia? Oh, never mind, it's gone. So those poop machines, literal poop machines, are going to be dropping gigantic poop. Maybe that poop just seemed big because I'm just a tiny little green man, right? Maybe that's why then, huh? I, I really need to get used to being so small here, jeez. <laughs> like, I'm basically right next to the ground here, golly. Alright, now, what was it, like, right here or something like that that I just woke up at? So I might want to build the base, like, right here. That way, if we die, we basically spawn right next to our house. Uh, let's, let's get a little bit of wood. I don't know how we're doing carry- Yeah, we're doing pretty fine carry weight-wise. Yeah, we're doing actually really well. What in the world? How are we carrying so many things? Whoa, all that wood only weighs 17 pounds. What? Uh, I think that might be one of my mods enabling some hacks over here, you guys. Because, like, what is it? 50 wood weighed, like, 25 pounds or something like that back in the day? Okay, this is getting- This is getting kind of crazy here, you guys. Sheesh. Actually, it might be pretty helpful. Because, uh, maybe I can get more and more resources without having them, like, make a thousand trips and stuff like that, right? Golly. But anyways, we have two more level ups. Man, what am I going to do now? Movement speed, crafting skill, fortitude. Might want to do fortitude, just so I'm a little bit more resilient against critters. Uh, maybe do, uh, another health. There you go. Another health right there. Uber Tech Boots Plus? Uh, I assume that's, like, one step above regular tech, then. Jeez. What else can we unlock here? Uh, Corpse Retriever. Retrieves your player's dead body and removes your corpse. Due to player pawn changes, outside corpse retrievers will not work unless set up properly. It looks amazing. Okay. So we do have uh, multiple avenues of uh, getting our loot back if we do die, so that's good. But I do want to unlock some actual structures. I don't know why I exited out there. <laughs> might want to start out with the uh, Thatcher. I might have enough Engram points to, uh, let's see. Do I have enough Engram points to unlock wood? Let me check. Well, there's the Thatch Foundation. Of course, I'm going to be using S+, just because why not? Definitely want to get a storage box as well. So let's get that. And I don't think we have enough to get the, uh... I don't, I don't think we're high enough level to get wood stuff just yet. Yeah, it looks like wood's down here at level 11, so we'll, we'll unlock that a little bit later. I'll just get, uh... What do I want? I guess I'll get the slat... Sl sl 
<laughs> sloped thatch roof. Might as well get that and be a little bit fancy with our roof instead of just having like a ceiling and that's it, right? So oh, let's get the S plus version of that as well as a door frame and a door. And that's going to be basically all of our engrams gone, you guys. Oh yeah, I definitely want walls. Why did I not have walls yet? Jeez. Uh, I know it says for S+, plus it requires zero Engram points, but of course it does need to unlock the regular one before I can unlock the S+, plus version of it, so if you guys are wondering, well, there you go. And the basic backpack requires no Engram points. I kind of want to make that just to see what it's like. I'm like, already, it seems like I'm able to carry, like, tons of resources just right off the bat, you guys. Like, holy heck, 500 wood for 27 pounds. What is this? <laughs> Okay, I, I definitely do need to make some sort of structure home base here, as well as make, uh, let's get the regular, let's get like four of these, let's see, can I make four of those bad boys? No, I cannot, what in the world? Oh, I need fiber, yeah, let's get some fiber. Uh, I don't think I'm able, yeah, you can't make a sickle unless you have metal, right? I don't think there's like a stone, so there might be, hold on, I just have so many mods installed, there might be a stone sickle. Uh, yeah, it's just a metal sickle. Okay, that'd be cool if they added a stone sickle, though, but we're going to need to pick some bushes over here as well. Let's get ourselves a little bit of berries in the process, because, uh, I don't know, I'm like, I am an ancient alien. I haven't eaten any of these Earth or, or Ark foods. I don't know if I'm on Earth. I'm on this weird planet called Valgaro or something. <laughs> so, I don't know any of the, uh, the, like, plant life or animal life, if they're good for my species or what, but I guess I'll find out later. I am a little tiny little green man, though. Maybe maybe here in the future I'll build my spaceship back and I'll return back home or something. <laughs> Perhaps. Anyways, we're up to 48 fiber. Probably gonna need even more of that if I wanna make the cloth uh, armor, so definitely wanna grab an extra amount of this fiber, as well as the berries are good, too. And a lot, another level up there, that's great. Noise. I'm like, I do have the, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's get that level up for uh, fortitude again. Just because I am currently nude, basically. I'm like, I've got weird alien underwear on right now. <laughs> also, my hair is like green too, so if my hair like turns into a mullet or something, it'll be like a green mullet. <laughs> Anyways, uh, how much fiber and stuff do we have now? Probably a billion. Nah, 212, not bad. Let's make ourselves... How many, uh... Yeah, I can could, I could make four of those. Let's, let's get four. Let's make four of these. Or, I uh, just have to hit this four times. There we go. Get some pants, some uh, chest piece, get some walls. See how many walls I can make. Let's get like four walls. Eh. Let's get seven walls. And then one doorway. One door. And then uh, that should eat up all of our materials. Where are these things again? Engram note. Write your own text on a note. Ooh, so I can write myself a love letter, huh? Maybe I'll write myself a letter and just kind of throw it in the ocean. See if I find it a hundred episodes from now or something crazy. <laughs> Anyways, I... Oh, yeah. Is there any metal around here? I don't... I don't think so. I'm not seeing, or at least like metal rich rock, you know? I don't know. I'm not seeing any, because I, I do know there is a possibility to get, you know, random bits of metal from giant boulders like this. But I want to find, like, an actual piece of metal rich rock that I'm going to get a ton of metal from, you know? I'm just not seeing any, unfortunately. It does look like there's some sort of, like, scorched earth area over there, though. Or maybe some sort of, like, mountain range. Uh, do I have my map? Can I check my map? Oh, man, we're, like, in the middle of the map. Ooh, that's going to be pretty helpful. That's going to be great. I assume I'm like basically equidistant from each tower, so that might be pretty good for navigating around and trying to find home. Literally, ET find home here. <laughs> Anyways, I might as well just break these and see what I get. I'm like, I was kind of hesitant there because I, I didn't know if I was going to be able to carry tons of. Ro what is that thing? That is a giant megalodon. That's like dark green and black. Uh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. Basically every episode I'm going to be discovering new creatures and like getting I'm, I'm going to be surprised if I don't die on this first episode here. Jeez. I wasn't even paying attention. I don't even know if I got any metal from all these. Just Oh yeah, I'm getting a couple metal here and there, so that's great. Now, I don't know. These, these feel OP because they have no durability. They last forever. But I guess if anything, it is kind of good in a sense for like a starter sort of meme. I don't know if there's any way to like get rid of unless I like drop them or something like that, right? Uh, I do have my armor, so there we go, let's grab that. I want to see what this looks like, though. Am I going to look, uh, look like Helen? Uh, let's put these on, too. Uh, I didn't really do anything. Oh, I put, took the pants off. There you go. Uh, yeah, I kind of am. Oh my gosh. This, <laughs> this looks terrifying. <laughs> oh my gosh. What was it? Helen or Helena? I forget which one it is. But from the, uh, the end of Arc Extinction, if you guys watched that series. But, this looks very, I don't know if I want to keep this. This looks weird. I kind of want to make everything but my head look like this, and I'll look even more like an alien <laughs> or some weird creature. <laughs> uh, I'm going to keep it like this, though, uh, just because it is kind of interesting. Maybe I'll make, like, like is there, a, yeah, there are gloves, boots, even something for the head. But in the, man, that's crazy. Anyways, might as well place down some of these structures over here, kind of 
Let's see, where am I going to place it? Like, right next to the beach, basically? Because that's where he spawned, like, right next to the second beach. So, uh, yeah, sure, there we go. Let's just place him like this. There we go, just a big square. Watch, I bet I'm, I'm just going to start the series right here and end it here. Even though I want to expand out my base and build new bases and stuff. I say that at the beginning of, like, every series. Like, yeah, I'm, this is just going to be a starter base, you guys. But literally just end the series. Basically in the same spot that I started it, jeez. <laughs> Now, which way do I want my front? Just, like, this way or, like, this way? Mmm, I think I'm gonna... Can I pick up this one? Uh, yeah, I should be able to. Yeah, it's S+, so I can pick it up, no problem. Boom. And let's move it over here. I'm gonna need another layer of these, but I do have the doorway and the door. So let's just grab those. Place them down like so. There we go. And, yep, auto opens and closes there because it's S+. Very nice. All right. Well, hopefully we could upgrade that. Oh, man, I just, like, auto-stepped up there, too. That's cool. Uh, but we'll upgrade that into actual, like, wood here in just a bit. What do we need to be level 11? What are we at right now? 7. We're basically level 8 after I get myself a level up, though. Uh, what am I going to do next? Let's do more melee damage, because I'm probably going to be killing some critters here pretty soon. Uh, I do want to make that spear. Did I, I think I unlocked Yeah, I unlocked it, but I need a couple more fiber. Looks like I spent all my fiber on my, uh, like, clothes and thatch structures and stuff like that, you know? So I might as well get the spear at least for right now. Uh, how much metal did I get from all that, though? Two metal, that's it? The two metal that I- all the metal I got was from when I just noticed I was picking up metal. Jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna need to harvest a ton of these stones over here, because I don't know if we're in an area that gives us, like, metal-rich rock. I may just have to, like, rely on getting random bits of metal. Like, if we smelt those two metal together, that's one ingot right there. Oh my gosh. What is it? Okay, it seems like it's just a brano. Or is it a bracket? Or is it a different critter? What is it now? Level 1000? Oh, basically, level 784 Brano? Golly! And I'm only at like a level, like, 8 or 9 or something like that by now. Golly! Man, these things are like out-leveling me hardcore. I guess there's no level cap. Or maybe the level cap's just like 1000 or something crazy. So you can get like insanely OP dinos and stuff. Oh, yeah. Pretty good uh, starter critters here, you guys. What is this thing? Level 784, Stego! Man! And what is that ankle over here? The ankle is going to be a great one for getting the metal. What is this one? I'm like, it's green. It kind of matches. Level 112. Pfft. What's level 112? Ugh. Disgusting. Get out of here. Trash. What about this one? Now, that's what I'm talking about. Level 308. Still like half what the other ones are. <laughs> but still like uh, almost triple what the uh, other level 112 was just moments ago. Still getting random fiber over here as I'm looking like some weird like... Like hologram creature. <laughs> I know, just continue going this way. Just kind of harvesting fiber at the same time. Just, like, looking at all the critters that are available in the area. So, it seems like we spawned in a pretty safe area thus far. I'm like, we did just see a Megalodon, so probably want to stay out of the water at least in that. Oh, gosh, what's that thing? Is that a jellyfish? I think it is a Nidaria. I think it is. That's going to be good, though, because I, I... Oh, what in the world? There's that Megalodon, or, like, a different one. Ooh, yeah, definitely want to stay away from that, but might want to tame it here in the future. It's going to be a great water critter to... Uh, to have like, I don't even know, is this like a lake? Or is this like a river? I think it's like a, maybe it's like both. I don't know if it like leads into a big, o I don't know if this has a big ocean, it might not. It might just be like one gigantic island, and of course surrounded by water. I don't know if it's going to have like, oceans and lakes and stuff like that. I guess we'll find out as we explore the area, you guys, but let me know what you guys think of the series thus far. If, if I should add other mods, if I should take some mods away because they're just, they're dumb or something, I don't know. I'm like, just take a look at that mod list I have in the video description. Let me know what you guys think. Because I'm always open to add or remove mods. And, uh, of course, there are just so many new mods to me. If you guys want to, you know, help me out and give me some pointers on what to do <laughs> first with all these mods, then feel free to help me out. What is this weird one over here? What level is this one? 308! It's a female! Yeah, I didn't even look at the genders of the other ones. Uh, do we- I'm like, we do have Miho Berries. It's probably gonna take a trillion of these if we wanted to- Oh gosh, just ate one right there. I didn't die though, so it seems like my alien body is still able to eat, uh... Oh gosh, I need to be level four- Man! I am not used to these level caps that they gave to, uh, passive tame critters. I forgot about that, you guys. Jeez. Man, if I want to knock out that ankle, though... I don't even know how much, like, health and stuff like that it has. So, I, I, my best bet right now is just to get a slingshot and just throw a bunch of rocks at it and maybe see if I can get to an advantageous position. Maybe be, Oh yeah, a trike is going to be a great one. A level 840?! No, it's a Styracosaurus- Oh, pfft. Okay, I just died of a Styracosaurus. Immediately, level 842! Jeez. Level, level 840. Also, I meant. <laughs> now, th did I build my house, like, somewhat close to where I spawn in? Because I didn't even really pay too much attention to where I spawned in. I think this is where... I spawned in last time, but, uh, I have no idea. I don't even know where I'm at. 
I'm like, I do have that Death Finder mod. What did I need? Like a stone and that's it? I uh, probably need to unlock the Engram for it. Where in the world is that? God, man, look at all these Engrams here, you guys. Sheesh. Uh, I guess I'll just do Death... Oh, whoops. Corpse Finder? Corpse Retriever Corpse Finder. Which one's better? Oh, gosh. Seems like the Corpse Finder's way cheaper. Like, I can get that with a stone and that's it. Let's get that for right now. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, I do have the, uh, the no durability pick and uh, hatchet still. So I'm like it. Oh, did they, like... Yeah, it looks like the hatchet's now a primitive. And the, the, the pick is still a ramshackle one. Okay. Interesting there. Uh, anyways, let's get that death finder, corpse finder. Where in the world did that get? Did I even make? Oh, there it is right there. Channel open. So we need to go this way and it... Oh, yeah. The, okay, I'm not too far away, I guess. So, eh. Could be worse, I suppose. But that's cool. So it's not just like regular, like, uh, triceratops. It looks like we have, like, variations of them in the form of that Styracosaurus we just saw moments ago. Of course, that was in the uh, Jurassic World Evolution series I have on the channel. And uh, I'm probably going to get completely just confused by all the dinos and not going to pronounce anything correctly at all. What, look at that weird creature right there. Ugh. Man, what is all this stuff? Rex stomped glasses, saddle, skin, skin. <laughs> uh, equip and a, a T-Rex with this to live the high life. It looks like... What in the world? That, and I'm like, they're glasses, but what in the world does it say? I can't even tell. Anyways, let's just grab those back. And uh, I... I assume I got those. Yeah, I got those hacked, uh, like hatchet and stuff back. Okay. I, I'm not complaining, but it still feels OP as butt. Jeez. I still have like double, I have double the skins now. So, uh, did I get this guy's armory back? I think I did. Cause he's like completely naked on the ground right now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where in the world's the, uh, armor for this guy? Uh, I'm not seeing it right now. I'm just seeing the skins. Uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna harvest his dead body just cuz I'm like I might as well get some like hide or something, right? Can I not har- I can't harvest his dead body, man! Destroy- oh, here we go, I can destroy corpse. I wanna check- yeah, there's nothing there. Alright, destroy the corpse and there you go. Oh my gosh, that backpack is massive. Why is there a backpack there? There's nothing in it. Uh, okay, well that's gonna decompose in six hours, golly. Alright, well, where's the, uh, thing at? Oh, here it is right here. Oh, why did the Styracosaurus even attack me? I didn't even attack it. I didn't even do anything to it to attack me. Jeez. I really need to make that campfire, though. Let's see if we can make that. Oh, gosh. I make, like, everything except for the backpack. Yeah, I do need hide for that, so. Uh, there it is right there. Campfire. Let's get one of those. We still have, a uh, level up. What am I going to do for this one, though? Do I want to get a crafting skill? Because it might be pretty beneficial here early on. Might, might get some, like, decent, like, crafts just by crafting something immediately. So, I don't know if this is going to give, like, 1% for an upgrade or, like, 5 or something like that. But, mm, yeah, let's do at least one. There you go. What I get from that, though? Let's see. Oh, gosh, it's straight up nighttime, right? Oh, we got 10% for that. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Uh-oh. The nighttime music has started. All right. Yeah, I, I need to get used to this again. Back at Extinction, there was no heckin' nighttime unless you're inside of those uh, little little arc, mini arc things. So, uh, let's, let's cook up the food. There you go. Bunch of uh, raw fish. Oh, yeah. Things. I have, that, I have a mod that makes things stack like up to like a thousand or something crazy. That way I don't have like a thousand stacks of like 100 and stuff like that. It just makes it easier and organizes things a little bit better. I really. Yeah. See, so you can. I'm like the wood goes up to 500. It looks like right there. Maybe it goes up to more. Maybe I just happen to have 500 wood right there. Let's get some thatch and cook that up right there. Uh, I could use the wood and get some charcoal back, but I don't know what I'm going to use that for right now. Oh, it's. Uh, Okay, so the armor doesn't keep the skin when you die. I thought it... Pretty sure it used to, but... Uh, maybe it changed, perhaps? I have no idea. Anyways, let's see if I can make anything else. Oh yeah, let's get the other armor. I'm like, I'd, oh gosh, suicide potion? That might be pretty good if I'm like... In a situation that warrants that, right? Cloth gloves, cloth boots, hat... Uh, water skin, that'd be pretty good. Uh, here early on. Primal spear, that'd be great for knocking something out, hopefully. Uh, there is this, like, automated arc, I think is what the mod is called. That, like, automates things, so hopefully it's gonna be... Oh, and a sleeping bag. Definitely want to get that so I can set my spawn point here, or a spawn point here. And, oh, a primitive tent. A portable primitive tent where you can take cover in hostile environments, have a floor, and can place structure upon. Huh. So, I don't know if there's, like, a scorched earth, like, uh, like, like, what was it, like a sandstorm that we have to watch out for in this, uh, in this world? Maybe. Healing stew. This primitive stew will heal your, your creature for 5% health. Can I not eat this, then? It says, you're a creature. I'm like, I am a creature. I'm an alien. <laughs> uh, oh, cloth glove. Oh, man, these are, uh, Armor Plus has these. Yeah, Armor Plus. I think I also have Weapons Plus installed. Uh, oh, I need three anger points to unlock these. What's the difference, though? 
Uh, Hide-soled shoes provide some protection from the heat and cold, but only minimal protection from injuries. Oh, it has a thousand durability, 200 armor? What? This has 25 durability, 10 armor? How expensive is it though? Eh, for early game, maybe a little expensive because I haven't killed anything yet. Well, it's, I've harvested that manta ray, but I didn't get any hide from it. But it seems, ah, oh, man. I just need to, it, every, everything just seems OP to me just because I'm so used to like regular multipliers and stuff like that, you know? But I need to get used to this mod or all these mods together and like all these numbers are so huge to me. <laughs> and let's get some food going down there. Uh, what in the world? Where did I get this regular? What in the world? Do I get regular cooked meat and cooked fish? Fi fish? <laughs> regular uh, cooked meat and regular cooked fish meat from raw fish now? That seems weird. Uh, okay, but I'm not complaining, of course. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. I, I need to make a chest because or a storage box just because, uh, okay, I need a little bit more thatch room just because I do want to store some stuff up and I do, oh, is there something out here? I think I'm safe for right now. Golly, I still need to build up the walls on my thing just so I could, uh, have a little bit more protection as well as build a, uh, oh, is that a supply? Oh my gosh. Man, I need to get used to having supply drops again, you guys. Looks like we have a purple and we have a red over there. Don't know the color codes. Because I forgot them, basically. But we had, like, basically no supply drops in Extinction, so... Uh... Oh my gosh, is that thing gonna attack me now? Hopefully not. I'm just gonna stay away. I'm gonna keep my distance. <laughs> oh, there's, like, a winter area over there. Is that a volcano? That's a volcano. I'm pretty... Look at that big smoke cloud above it. Golly. Alright, well... Let's just, uh... What am I doing here? Oh, yeah, I was gonna make the storage box. Let's get one of those. Let's make the S-plus version of it. Uh, I need to get some hide to make that. Kind of want to make some spears, though. Oh, I can make- I can just straight up make the primal spear. I don't even need to make the regular spears. But let's get, like, six, I don't know, six of those. Seems like- a, oh, can I- oh, I can only make four. Yeah, okay. Well, let's make some spears, then. There we go, let's get some of those. Let's get, like, six of those. And, uh, all the armor. So let's get the hat. What do I need for the- oh, yeah, I need hide for that. Probably need hide for the gloves as well. Yeah, I need a little bit of hide for that. And, of course, for the backpack, too. Uh, let's get some more walls, though, if I can. So let's get one, two, let's get up to seven, or eight. Let's get eight of those. Let's start getting some ceilings. So, was it just four? I think, yep, there you go. Then I can make a sloped roof and make a really fancy looking place here. <laughs> let's see. Uh, how expensive is that? Can I make, probably gonna need, what, like, eight of those? I can make four right now, but uh, I'll just I'll just go with four. I'll worry about it a little bit later. I'm like, our place isn't gonna be thatched forever. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just craft, oh gosh. Just, yeah, I still cook in there. That's good. I'm, I'm just trying to make our place as homely as possible here early on. But what level are we now? We're currently going to be level 10. All right, that's good. And what do I want? Another crafting skill, perhaps? I wonder how good our... Uh, I just made armor. A cat. It's 10 armor. So it seems like it didn't even really affect anything here. It seems basically the same. And what do I look like if I have that weird thing on now? Uh, this thing. Oh my gosh, what in the world? Hold on, put that back on. What do I look like in third person, though? Oh, ew! Ugh, that's like galaxy brain meme right here, you guys. <laughs> like 9 plus 10 equals 21, and then you can get this image right here. I can mind blown. <laughs> uh, big brain time over here, haters. All right, Might as well, I, I don't know if I'm going to keep that. Kind of, I don't even know if I'm going to keep any of these. Maybe we put this on and clown mode can be activated whenever uh, something funny happens or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, evil clown. Anyway, oh gosh, it's like right outside. Oh, what in the world? Oh, I'm too heavy. Oh my gosh, my inventory is actually too heavy. Holy heck. I did make a storage box, though, so let's place that down over here and start storing some stuff inside, because that's what you're supposed to do with a storage box. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep the skins. I'm like, every time you die, you do get the skins back, so I don't even know if there's a point in uh, keeping those. Bunny ears. I'm like, Easter is way... Well, I'm like, we passed Easter a billion years ago. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't even make sense, but uh, I'll, I'll probably just drop everything else. So let's just drop all the other skins. Golly, look at all those just flying all over the witch's hat. I'm like a witch's hat. Yeah, that, that probably makes the most sense with Halloween just around the corner. Oh, gosh. Uh, needle in a Oh, here we go. Never mind. I found it immediately. <laughs> I was about to say I can needle in a haystack meme right there, but nope. Found it just straight up right there, like two seconds. Anyways, let's grab that food, and now we can place down the other walls here. And get the rest of the, there you go, get the rest of this going here. And now we'll actually have room, like vertical room, for large storage boxes and stuff. So that'll be great. What was it? Just, uh, yep, four roof, ce or uh, ceilings. Let's place these down right here. I know it's like pitch black. I need to make torches or standing torches or something. Uh, let's see if I can do that, though. I'm like, uh, I do have a level up I need to do, so let's do that first. 
Just because uh, I'll get more Engram points. Or two level ups. Golly, let's get some more health. And melee damage. Boom. Noise. Let's see. Uh, Torchuru, a standing torch. Let's get that. There we go. All right. That's going to be great. Now let's get ourselves a couple of those going, if I can. Uh, I need stone, flint, and wood. I believe I have that, but it's in the chest. I can even access it. There's skins all over the place. Get these skins out of here. What am I playing, like, CSGO with all these skins all over the place? Golly. <laughs> oh, there we go. They're finally gone. Man, that took forever. Anyways, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Get some wood. I think flint and stone, and that should be enough for standing torch, right? Uh, yep. So let's get, I don't know, two of those. Sounds like a good number. Then we're going to have this place nice and hashtag lit, you guys. Uh, yeah, cut that out of the video. That's terrible. Stupid. <laughs> Let's grab a regular spear here and uh, kind of organize our inventory a little bit so we get a... There we go. Kind of... Let's go outside. I still can't see. Let's put this standing torch right here. There we go. Light the fire! And... Change settings. Auto on off. No, let's keep it on forever, Hater. So let's keep that like that. Oh, whoops. There we go. Let's put another one on the other side. And then we might see if we can tame something real quick because this episode's... Already past the 30-minute mark as far as I can see, so... Definitely want to uh, maybe end the episode off by us finally I can tame in something, right, golly? Anyways, here's our base so far. I don't even think this lines up here. Doesn't look like it. Ah. Uh, eh, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> uh, we have the, uh, sloped roof meme here, so I could place this, uh... Oh, come on! Can I play? Oh! Come on! Place it the other way. Oh my gosh, it's not going the way I want. Eh, whatever, I'll place it like that then. Jeez, <laughs> I didn't even want to place it like that, but now I'm going to need even more of these sloped roofs, right? Or whatever they're called, I forget. Sloped thatch roof? Yep, sloped thatch roof. Okay, whatever. I know to place these down. I'm going to need even more of them, but the, now we've got this like weird, it looks like wings. <laughs> oh, stupid. Anyways, we've got some music playing indicating that it is now daytime. Or, you know, turning to daytime. Looks like here's a Fiomia right here. Man, these things look... Oh my god, I'm like glowing with this weird skin. Ugh. Clown mode activated. What's this weird fire? Oh, I can actually tame this thing. It seems like I'm high enough level to do it. Jeez. Anyways. Uh, oh yeah, was there something I need to be level like 11 for? Yeah, I'm 11 right now. I don't know. Oh yeah, like wood walls or something. Eh, yeah, we'll worry about that next episode. Yeah, Parasaur Saddle. That'll be a great one. Uh, is there anything else here? I don't know. I think we're going to try and tame that Ankylo. I don't know which one, but uh, we'll, we'll try. <laughs> we'll try and at least knock it out, see if we can get to an advantageous position. And uh, maybe throw a couple of uh, or like, try and poke and prod at it a couple times. Like, here's a cliff right here, this is a great location if we can lure it over here. What in the world? What was this? Are there like abandoned bit? Oh, okay, I thought this was a, like an actual structure built by another player or something, but it's just a part of the map. Yeah, I, I, I don't think there are, uh, because this is a custom map, I don't think there are any, uh, Explorer notes, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks, but kind of want to go find one of the Anglos or something. I don't think I'm going to tame a Stregosaurus this early on. There's a there's an Anklo, there's a Stego. Don't know about the Stregosaurus just yet, or Styracosaurus. Oh my gosh! Adolescent Stego, can't tame that yet. I'm like, I could, but I wouldn't be able to ride it yet. I'd have to wait until it grows up. Here's a level 308 Anklo. Do I want to find a Stregosaurus? I kind of want to. I'm like, I have... Just a handful of Mio Bear. Oh, God. Oh, turn it on right there. That'd be a great tame early on. But, uh, I don't, I don't even know how effective these, like, Trank Spears are. What are these even talking? Like, technical? Prim primal Spear. Okay. And I can't upgrade them. I do have an upgrade station mod installed. I don't know if there's any other way to mo uh, upgrade these. I don't know if they, like, can upgrade by you just using them more or something like that. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool if that's the case. Not finding the Stragosaurus, though. Maybe just up and left. Because <laughs> he knew... Oh my gosh, something just knocked down a tree. Was it a Stragosaurus? What was this creature? I need to find it. It's probably like another Brachio or something. Or Brano. Man, there are no Brachios in here. I think it's just a Diplodocus then, huh? Seems like that's what that was over there. Alright, out of stamina right now. I need to... Oh yeah, I never made a water skin. I'm like, I don't have the materials to make a water skin. So, that probably explains why I don't have one. Oh, there it is right there. There's a Stragosaurus. Stragosaurus. Let's see. What level is this one? It's level 112. It's a female. I don't think this was the one that killed me. I think it was like a level 800 or something like that that killed me, right? But it might be okay for us to start with a level uh, 112 tra- Oh gosh, got another level up noise. Might be okay to start out with this low level garbage. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's do more melee damage. Hopefully our uh, uh, primal spear is going to be pretty good against this thing though, but- uh, Oh! 157 to- Oh my gosh, hopefully it gets nice and knocked out. Oh, I'm gonna- Ooh, hold on. Can I get on that rock and have a- mm, Maybe. Ooh, I'm gonna... Oh, 
Oh man, I'm going. Oh man! Just took a little bit of damage. Just took, you know, 39 damage. Basically, all my again health right there. No, 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 no. I'm out of here. You want to go back up the cliff? You want to get away from this thing? Brains are massive on me because I'm an ancient alien. I'm a billion years ahead of your society. Ooh, I don't even think he has a society. I'm gonna throw another one at him. There you go, another 150 right there. Oh, I think he's running away from Torpor. Okay, let's go chase it. Poke it in the butt. Poke it right up the butthole with this thing. Right at the end of the video, we're gonna get demonetized, you guys. Oh, there's another one right there, right on the tail. Let's poke and prod it right on the thigh. Oh, right, right on the butthole right there. Jeez. Hopefully I don't kill this thing. There you go. There's another hit right there. Looks like he's getting kind of bloody. I don't know how it's doing, like, health-wise, though, because I don't have a spyglass or anything like that to keep track of its health. Oh, it's out. It's down and out for the count. There we go. We got a uh, thing right there. I think I used up all my narco berries crafting these spears, though, so I might want to continue harvesting bushes so I can uh, keep it nice and knocked out. And I don't have any narcotics just yet. I don't even think I have any sp uh, spoiled meat either, so I'm getting a few narco berries here and there, but I uh, kind of want to check up on this, like, torpidity depreciation or whatever you want to call it and see how it's doing. Let's see. Uh, unconsciousness is basically not moving. Food is... It's actually going down decently. Can't really complain. I think we should have this one tamed. Yeah. Just thinking about it right now, I'm like, it just ate. 2.3% though. Mmm. If I'm looking at that tiny little bar that's missing from unconscious and looking at that tiny little bar that's present on taming... It may be possible to get this thing tamed with, I'm like, I do have narco berries. I think all I'm going to need to do now is just continue grabbing more of these uh, narco berries and keeping it nice and knocked out and just give it more and more miho berries. Cause I'm pretty sure it's going to need like maybe a hundred or something like that. And thankfully I'm getting even more right now. I'm up to 13, which is absolutely fantastic. But this video is already, oh my gosh. Oh, these are like bushes flying all over the place. I thought they were like poop flying over there. Jeez. But this episode is already getting pretty long. I'm going to need to end it. And then when we come back, I guess we're going to see whether or not I can get this thing nice and tame. This Tyrannosaurus, what level is it? 112 or something? We well, got yeah, 112, 55 level taming bonus on top of that. So just need to basically stand guard near it as it continues to eat more and more Miho berries. Give it some narcotics to keep it nice and knocked out. Oh my gosh, what in the world is this Brano? You better stay the heck away, hater. Oh my gosh, if this thing ruins my... Oh man, almost... Ooh, I didn't die right there. I don't even think I took damage right there. That was great. <laughs> but thankfully, I'm in a pretty safe area of the map as far as I know. And I can just kind of stand near this thing and hopefully it's going to be nice and protected. Yeah, look at that. The unconsciousness is already going up a little bit there. No, it's already starting to go back down. Okay, whatever. <laughs> but thankfully, the taming is uh, slowly going up. So I guess next episode, we're going to come back and see whether or not I got this thing nice and tamed. But real quick, before I do end it, I want to see Styrak... What I need to be okay now level six. That's that's a pretty good team then I didn't want to find out I need to be like level 50 or something like that to make a heckin saddle for this thing We're basically just around the corner from being able to get that we're four levels away That's gonna be no problem. So anyways, thank you guys all very much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video Be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below <laughs> By leaving a like down below and if you guys want more of these awesome videos Be sure to hit that subscribe button that I put my latest videos our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out because next time we come back we're going to see whether or not this Styracosaurus is going to be nice and tame to us and of course continue adventuring around here in the brand new Arc Valgaro series here on the channel. Be sure just like I said earlier on in the series to let me know what you guys think about the mods I currently have installed and feel free to leave any mod suggestions in the comments and maybe I'll install more of them next episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Arc Valgaro. Oh bye there. Man, I look like a mess. <laughs>